So Rock it to 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 First and foremost, want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule with a great millstone. And a blessed salutation to the Akiyams in the folk and the earth, pushing the gospel and sincerity in church. Shalom. I see this one do a little blessing. Terrify the church of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, the most I say, fear not the king of Babylon. You know, you know this devil going to come down hard on the on the sincere brothers, right? The most I said, again, you know, there's gonna be a great insurrection in every city upon those that fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. And we see the time, we in the time, you know, when it, when this devil gonna start looking to make moves, right? The most I said, we're gonna be tried, but the most I said, yo, don't fear, do not fear the king of Babylon, right? This is, um, Jeremiah 42 and um, 11, Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom ye are afraid. Right? He said, Moses said, Don't be afraid of the king of Babylon, because the Mosai control the king of Babylon. Right? Mosai control the king of Babylon. Um, this is in um, Proverbs. <coughs> so, like, Proverbs. Um, the most I control the minds of the um yeah right. so back here let me get a quick I think this proverbs um yeah this is um proverbs chapter twenty one verse one he said the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai as rivers of water, he turned it whithersoever he will. So the Mosai will control the king's heart, right? If the Mosai want you to take take down the empire, whether you want you to humble yourself and show mercy on the empire, yeah, he do exactly what the Mosai want you to do. So the Mosai saying, yo, back in um, Jeremiah 42 and 11, be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom ye are afraid. Be not afraid of him, said the Lord, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. Right? Because the most I control the kings. Right? He control the kings of the earth. Right? They in the palm of the most high hand. Right? And like, you know, these devil gonna come down on us because the most I see gonna try us. Right? To see if we sincere, if we believe in him, if we can put a trust in him. Are we given to the pressure of this devil? Right? This is um Second Israel chapter 16 for us um start from 70 for they shall be in every place and in the next city, next cities, a great insurrection upon those that feared fear the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So the men, the sincere men, the four kind of the globe. Who fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, they're gonna be a great insurrection, right? Revelation 12 12, the devil knew that he had a short time, he come down with great wrath, right? The devil is a so called white man, right? He said, verse 71, he said, They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yeah, they're gonna be like madmen. They're gonna come down on us real hard, right? Verse seventy-three. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as as the gold in the fire. Try me to what test? The most are gonna test your faith, just like Job, just like our big brother Yahweh Shai, right? The most are gonna test your faith in the day. Right, the Jacob trouble, right, and the fires were affliction, prosecution. When this devil gonna come down upon us, right? <coughs> so, like verse 74, <coughs> he said, Hear, O he, my beloved, said the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Behold, the day of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So, the Most High saying, Yo, the day of trouble is at hand, but he will deliver us. Right, which is the hopefully lack, 
Moses is going to deliver us, right? From the same, he said, be not he afraid, neither doubt, for the power, for the power of our Bashem Yahusha is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord, the Ahu Bashem Yahusha power, let not your sins weigh you down, because the wage of the sin is death, right? He said, and let not your iniquity lift of themselves. Right, so the most second, the most second deliver the ones that fear him. Those who are going to be delivered, the ones that fear him, the most are going to try to fear it. Right, so that the, the time coming, when we're going to be tried with the microchip, with prosecution, you know, the great insurrection, martial law. Right, the time coming, the most are going to try us. Right. It's a mention about the martial law. There is a time coming. This is um, Isaiah 59. Right? Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. There's a the martial law, the enemy is the so called white man. He's going to come in like a flood because he. Is 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 um, agenda is to chip chip everybody in the face of the planet and kill the majority of the people so you can have the you can have the total control of your mind right which is your spirit the total control you want now right is the devil the so called white man right Isaiah 55 59 and 19 so shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshai shall lift up his standard against against him. So brothers can get spiritual power. The most I can put spirit and brother to defend the self, the family, right? Which is the family is the bro the brotherhood, right? The brotherhood is the family, are uh, the household, right? The most I can put spirit and brothers brothers who or ordained to get the spirit, the spiritual powers, you know, to, to defend, to defend the brotherhood, to defend the self, defend the household, right? You understand? So the most I said, don't fear, don't fear the king of Babylon, right? Because the king of Babylon, he heart is in the hand of Yahweh Hashem you know? As a pastor Raka, as I always say, you know, as I always say, he said, pray. You know, gotta keep praying, praying, asking the most high for the strength, you know, to put the spirit on us to uh, endure, to bear, to bear, bear that, bear, bear the affliction, to bear it, to endure it, you know. Gotta pray for the most high, put the spirit upon us. Right? This is um, Isaiah 43 and, and 1. He said, But now, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that created thee. O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, right, which is you so called Negroes, Latin, and Native American Indian, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. So the Most High redeemed, we got the Most High, the Most High, the Most High, they, they, they give away his, his heritage, which is you so called Negroes, Latin, and Native American Indian. He, he gave us into the hand of these, so called white man was the devil, right? To punish us for our, for our sins and our iniquity so the most high redeem us the most high buy us back which is the remnant the elect and the nation of israel 144,000 and the one third million children right <coughs> verse 2 he said when thou pass through the waters i will be with thee and through the rivers they shall not cover thee when thou walkest through the fire thou shalt not be born Neither shall the flame candle upon thee, for I am for I am the Lord thy power, the Holy One of Israel, thy Saviour. He said, I give thee, Salaki, I give Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia, and and, and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honourable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life, 
So this nation gonna be our heritage too. This is the nation, right? Gonna be be the, the so-called Negroes, Latin, and Native American heritage, right? They're gonna be our slave. They're gonna be in the rightful lot. Verse five: Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say, I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the end of the earth. Right? So the most I said, oh, don't fear the king of Babylon. Right? Don't fear the king of Babylon. The most I <coughs> said, the most I can deliver us. Right? This is Isaiah 33. Isaiah 33, verse 22. He said, For the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is, is our judge. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is our lawgiver. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is our king. He will save us. Yeah, he will save the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian, right? That's why he said, don't fear the king of Babylon, right? So we go back to um, Jeremiah 42. Jeremiah 42 verse 11, he said, Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom he are afraid. Be not afraid of him, said the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, for I am, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. So the elect going to be delivered in these last days, right? They're going to be delivered from the plague, which is the seven, seven plague, which is ICBM missile, the destruction, also the famine, the race war, martial law, you know, the elect going to be delivered, right? Verse 12, he said, And I will show mercy unto you, that he may have mercy upon you, and cause you to return to your own land. And this is the kingdom, right? The most I can put you back in our own land, right? Which is the land of Jerusalem. So the most I can deliver, the most I can deliver is, is, is like in these last days. So, you know, we're not supposed to fear the king of Babylon. You know, we can be prosecuted. It's in the scriptures. You know, the scripture will have to play out. Some of we going to be martyrs of Yahweh Shai, right? Some of we going to be put to death, right? You understand? The scripture got to play out. So, you know, as the Apostle Raka said, we got to pray, we got to fast, we got to beg and cry out to the Mosai to put a spirit on us so we can endure the affliction. And we always got to remember too, you know, when these things happen to we, is that we deserve these things. We deserve the affliction, right? It also makes us, it also, it also cleanse us too. It also is preparing us uh, for the time that we're getting into, you know. So, you know, this chastisement is, is good. There's nothing to despise. Scripture said, despise not the chastisement of the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. You know, so these devils are going to come. And they're going to come hard. Right? They're going to come with every single thing that they have, you know. But we just got to continue praying for more faith. And that we endure the prosecution. And that the most I put the spirit upon us, you know, pray for the spirit like the seven, like the woman as your seven son, you know, who stand up and go to the line as a man, you take it manfully, you know, the spirit we got to pray for, you know. And with that, those lessons are defying, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule with a great stone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akyams and the folk and the other to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom.